same when it comes to a man that's over a household and he's in that position to predict, uh, protect and he's there to add to the home. So growth will come out of that. Whenever a person has that good spirit of a man and a real protector, growth will only happen. You will not see a woman that has a good man sitting in the same spot, in the same downtrodden position. If she got a real man that's protected, you will only see growth. You will not see decline. You will not see, oh, me and the baby, me and baby had to go and get on Section 8. If you marry, why would your wife, wife have to sign up for Section 8? Why should she have to sign up for food stamps and you're there with her? That should not have to happen. And and I am a single woman. And yeah, I know I don't have a man, but I can look at a situation and tell whether the fuck is right or not. And if you're looking at somebody's situation and they've been together for years on end and they haven't moved any motherfucking where, then uh, you need to look at who running the household. Because ain't no real man going to let that happen. Ain't no real man going to allow his woman to worry about the bills. And that's just my opinion. I don't have a man, but the man that I, I have had around, you got to put down what you expect them to do. And they're only going to do that. Some of them are only going to do that and they will not do anything else. So you got to lay down a guideline of where the fuck I'm going when I start following you as a man. And if you don't know, then maybe it's not the man for you. Okay, moving on into um the next one. I think it's probably... Six, assurance. He will, uh, you know, assure you everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Even if it's a man that probably has made a few mistakes, he will always show that he is remorseful when he makes a mistake. He knows how to go back and say, that wasn't right. I hurt my wife. I hurt my kids when I did this or I did that. And when he can really, really, really look at what he did wrong, that can show you that's probably a man that's trying to march towards the right place. So sometimes you want to give a person a chance if they can acknowledge whenever they did wrong. And I think going to the last one, last but not least, a real man over his household always brings order. A real man will not allow chaos to enter and stay in his home. He will not allow it. He will bring order. If any anybody brings, let's say if you was to bring one of your cousins from out of town, you know, your cousin that popped up from the fair reunion, you know, y'all had a good time, a couple of drinks. This your cousin from out of California or something. Oh, cuz come to the house. You know, this your cousin. This the wife cousin. You know what I'm saying? And uh the cousin at the house, he he, you know, he get drunk and he started trying to fight motherfuckers. Like that man in that motherfucking household not finna go for that. He gonna be slapping this nigga upside the head with pistols in. He's going to get that nigga the fuck up, up out of there because he is the man of the household and he's not going to play that. And anything getting out of order, he's going to put it back together. So last but not least, that's what I think a man should bring to the table. And that, that's just my opinion. And I feel like that was some. I feel like I missed when I was growing up. I made a lot of mistakes when I was younger. And like I said in uh, a video that I made, go to my page, Katie Talk One on One, and subscribe to it. But go to this video, The Side Effects of Child Abuse. Hey, girl. Hey, Amber. <laughs> the um, Side Effects of Child Abuse. I posted that video. And one of the side effects that I said is look, for one thing, I think when a lot of abuse happens, a lot of it is because their father not in that home. You know, statistics say when a real father is in the home and a mother and father are together, whether they're married or not, if they're together trying to make a family, 
it's uh, less abuse is uh, less likely to happen in that home. So whenever I was making that video about the side effects of child abuse, a child or a male or a female sexually acting out is a side effect of child abuse. And I think I mentioned um, drug addiction, alcohol abuse, and, uh, violent, violence, and all of that side effects of child abuse. So um, I thank you all for tuning in. I'm signing out over here, YouTube. Love you. Keep your head up. Make sure you subscribe. I got a $50 um, giveaway once I hit 500 subs. And I don't know why something just telling me like in six months, I think I'm going to have it. So make sure y'all subscribe. Oh, um, once I hit a thousand, but once I hit a thousand subs, I, I will be giving away a hundred dollars to uh, one lucky subscriber. So you all please stay tuned. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to bless you guys. Y'all bless me and listen to me. Uh, hey, if it touch your heart, you listen. If it don't, just move on, but try to find some good in everything you listen to. Love you, YouTube. Caddy Talk 101.